Rowdy Rich literally shut down the UK. Now, Rowdy Rich, right? He came on, I think he came to the UK recently. I don't know when it was, but I think it was maybe a few months ago. And I saw a video of him. I think it might have been like in Birmingham or somewhere random like that, right? Um, somewhere outside of London, sorry, not random. And it seemed like everyone knew his lyrics, right? And I was surprised, again, maybe because I'm not in tune with black UK Twitter. Uh, I'm, I follow people, a lot of people in black um, US Twitter and stuff. But I don't necessarily have an understanding of what's going on there. I don't necessarily go out to most of those nights that people like that would be at or that would like that kind of music. I generally stay indoors. But... Um, it seems like Rowdy Rich has got a really big um, um, fan base in the UK. I didn't I had no idea this was a thing. So I guess he performed at the um, O2 in Brixton. It looked like it was fucking sold out, sold the fuck out. And he literally shut it down, literally. I saw his video online on Twitter, and it looks like an absolute madness occurred at this Rowdy Rich show. So, um, number one, we've got this really funny video of Russ, right, of Gun Lean fame trying to get on stage um because i think uh rowdy rich kind of you know um decided to play the track and bring him up on stage and i guess the security weren't told this was going to happen and they ripped this guy down from the fucking stage as he tries to get up there i'm going to play the video now so you can kind of check it out but ma mamia right and if you thought that was all that's not all so again this is the video of supposedly rush trying to get on stage <laughs> Yeah, boys and girls, dead rush trying to get on stage, drag him down, tries to get up again, right, drag him down, he tries to get up one more time, and then these boys jump in there trying to scuffle the security guards, it's like, oh my fucking god, just pure utter con pandemonium. And again, just distressing again, because sad, you know, for the UK, because we've got such a good scene happening at the moment. UK rap is probably at the best place it's ever been. UK kind of, without, for lack of a better term, urban music is the best it's ever been right now, right? So much variety, so much range, ages, colour, creeds, locations even, right? Before there was a time when all our acts were London-centric. Now, it doesn't sound funny to hear someone with a Brum accent, Manchester, Liverpool accent, Geordie rapping, Irish doing their thing. No one cares. Everyone's just promoting about the UK. People are even going on fucking cruises. I see people do this thing. They go to Spain somewhere where they, they all go on the same... Um, um, not a cruise. What, the, what, what all expenses paid trip, whatever those things, right? Um, and they go away and they kind of listen to UK DJs play, have UK acts play. It's a fucking industry, right? It's amazing where it's at at the moment. And it seems like the problems that we had back in the day with grime, where grime, you know, back in the day, I think yes, Jules mentioned it in one of her talk conversations, which was quite funny. She knew about it, but back in the day with grime, grime rages, the grime performances to get shut down everywhere, right? Because people had to fill in stupid forms, and you had to let the police know ahead of time some person was uh, was um, going to perform. And inevitably, there was always violence, right? Due to kind of like the overbearing police presence that was there, guys would end up acting out, egos get involved, blah blah blah, show gets shut down, right? It wasn't a really good time to be a, a fan of UK music because you couldn't see anyone, right? Things just get, get locked off. And it seemed like nowadays with Afro beats and the way people are rapping nowadays, things are just a bit more nicer, right? It's a softer atmosphere. Things are not being, things are not as fucked up as they were. I remember back in the day, even UK funky, UK funky raids used to be fights. There used to be scuffles at UK funky. Imagine, UK funky is one of the only things outside of bashment where girls are also skanking, right? And people are still swinging absolutely madness so you thought you know maybe we're in a better place now things have evolved but unfortunately it looks like nah we still have these dumb issues and it really it really fucks up stuff fucks us over more than anything because this violence and this aggression this attitudes again I'm, i've got sympathy with russ i guess you know if the, if the security are dragging you down again on this madness and you've got a couple of drinks and you're, you're a bit loose and you're maybe the security already being dicks already it's annoying plus i've been to Otto brixton previously to see travis scott and a few other people the security guards they're a little bit eager right they're a little bit eager they're a little bit um they're a little bit handsy let's say for that matter right they they they're looking to get into some sort of scuffle which doesn't make for a good conducive atmosphere but again i just think with how the situation is nowadays in the uk with the fact that you know the uk government seems you know absolutely blind as to why the issues are um where it lies in terms of knife crime across the uk because it isn't happening to their kids they don't give a flying fuck um 
we only have we really only have the kind of quote unquote entertainment industry to kind of help us propel us up yet. Yeah? You see how they treat um, Raheem Sterling. You see how they go on with him online, right? Or in the Daily Mail and stuff. One of our only verses that we have to really promote ourselves and kind of give ourselves a platform to really kind of carve our own corner in the UK society is entertainment. And we can't fuck it up with stuff like this. We can't, right? This needs just to be dealt rationally and just in a calm manner. Russ gets dragged off stage. One of his mans, um, agent, manager, wherever it may be, needs to come next to the security guard and tell them he's a performer. He's performing up there with um, with Rowdy Rich. You hear this song, Gun Lean? That's his song. Let him get up there. Just nice and calm. No no scuffling, no fights, no nothing. It just spoils a night. It makes it impossible for us artists, for our artists in the UK, forget Rowdy Rich, to actually perform in big places. That's what we want. We want people to, we want our best artists to sell out O2. We want them to sell out um, Coco's. We want them to sell out all these amazing venues. We want them to perform. We don't want them to only perform in nightclubs because they can perform there without them announcing the venue or the lineup ahead of time. That's not what we want. We want our artists to perform in the best places and things like this are not helping our case. And then on top of it, to make matters even worse, there was a flipping scuffle and supposedly someone got stabbed. Again, this isn't what we need, man. This is just isn't what we need. And again, I, I just don't know where the solution is. I don't know what works and what is the best way to kind of combat this sort of stuff. But it really is a, our responsibility to look after our scene and make sure these things situations don't happen. And it's even more embarrassing when we have a US guest come over. Because I even get a little bit annoyed, right, when some of these UK guys suck up a lot to these US artists. It kind of leaves me a bit of a sour taste in the mouth. You guys are hot as it is, right? Like, DW walks on the street now and kids are shouting his name going, ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, you're loved right you're a fucking celeb in this little small city we got called london and this little small island that is called the uk right you are big here you don't need to suck up to these us people but if they are here show them that we got things unlocked show them that we know how to conduct ourselves properly instead of this nonsense and now you've got this um twitter account 99 london uh, london 999 feed talking about some sort of scuffle that happened um during the rowdy rich concert again this is off the back of what's happening with the drake concert happening i'm sure there's no madness happening at the drake thing i, I don't think so for the most part it would be mad to see someone imagine people banging um imagine people scuffling sorry no homo I was banging or well, you can bang if you want but imagine people scuffling in the middle of jaded right drake's up there and perform on the stage performing jaded and people start swinging like what the fuck is going on male testosterone is the most confusing thing that ever existed in my life in it back in the day i understood it because back in the day you know you step on someone's shoes you have to put your hands up and you've got to get ready to fight. Even if you're not the fighting guy, you got to get ready to fight, right? You look at some some girl, some guy's girl wrongly. You know what I mean? But now that everyone's a little bit more, you know, softly, softly. People aren't getting nanked for numb, dumb reasons. Usually it's because they're about that life or they're involved in some sort of street, you know, politics. But to see this behavior at a Rowdy Rich concert is just absolutely nutty. Nutty, nutty, nutty. And again, this is another video showing some sort of commotion that happened during the concert. Again, more guys just like scuffling. I don't know what over. Supposedly someone got stabbed. And it's just like, oh. Just a terrible Again, I don't know what I'm watching really, but the, uh, the update of the, vid of the video on the tweet says here, uh, Two other victims are believed to be in non-life-threatening non conditions. The venue was holding a performance by American rapper Roddy Rich. The violence led to the building being evacuated. So he probably didn't finish his set, probably. There have been no arrests. After the police say that all three victims have now been discharged from hospital, including the man whose injuries were thought to be life-threatening. Okay, cool. So it's all, I guess it was an overreaction. It wasn't as bad as they say it was, but still. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. We can do better than this, son. We can do better than this. I, I really hope we can do better. This is, again, we're in such a good position with UK music. People are really wanting to hear these people. They're not, they're not, they're not capping or they're not lusting or they're not uh, fiending for US artists to come and tour here. They don't give a shit. They want to see their favorite UK artists, and this is what's happening here at our concert site. <sighs> but again, I don't know. I don't know what the solution is to this sort of stuff. I don't really have a. a I don't really have a proper solution for it. I just wish that we could be more. I don't know, we wish you could look after our scene a little bit better. I just guess that, but you know, boys will be boys and testosterone will be testosterone and maybe there's more to the story than I know about maybe more to the East, I, I don't know, but hey, it's a bit upsetting in that regard, but what can you do? Uh